So, first of all, I want to say I'm sorry um, that I have food again. It's not that I needed a snack today. I am, I am starving. And uh, I'm making a solid commitment. I mean, I'm solid promise to myself that the next time I come on here and speak to you rays of light, um, I will not be starving. And I will also not be looking. I will have my hair done, mascara, and lip gloss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna come correct next time. But I, I promised a little mini vlog of my work week this week, and I wanted to tell you guys about all my layovers because, well, let's just say it's been, it's been up and down. But made the best out of it. Either way it went, even when I was in a destination that I didn't necessarily want to be in. And sometimes you don't have control over that. Okay, so I started this week with a 32 hour layover in Raleigh, Durham. Y'all, I really just saying it like that. I know it's Raleigh and Durham, but the airport is Raleigh, Durham. So, Raleigh, Durham. And honestly, the last time I had a long layover in Raleigh, I didn't enjoy it not even the slightest and I wasn't looking forward to it this time but of course we made the best out of it I made plans to go as we literally had an entire day and then some I made plan my other half is in the pool in the back so that's the noise so I made plans to go to two coffee shops while I was there one was more traditional because I wanted, the idea was I was going to go there and get some work done. And the other one had food. And it is also my coffee feature for this month because it's a black owned coffee shop. And it was actually pretty darn delicious and I loved the entire concept, you guys. I'm going to show a little bit of footage from the first one that I went to. I believe it's called Cloche or Cloche. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong either way, but super great. The decor is probably what sold me the most because of all of the, the plants and just the natural light that was coming in. Loved it. I honestly could have sat there all day, but there is an extreme lack of space. The worst thing about this place is the seating and everything is really close. Can't really... Uh, I think, well, I'm assuming I probably needed to get there a little bit earlier than I did. I got there at about 9 in the morning. And I sat for about an hour. Um, but yeah, super nice, super clean. Coffee was amazing. I asked for a mug and I got a paper cup. I don't like that. Um, but other than that, I enjoyed the whole experience. And it's extremely busy, you guys, extremely busy. Now, about 10 minutes away from that location, I went to BU Cafe. Y'all, this is a black owned coffee shop and it is black. Anyway, it's black. Their names of their coffee is black. <laughs> I gotta check out my notes, hold on a second. So BU Cafe is on West Main Street Durham, North Carolina. Music, y'all. Everything that you would want to expect in a black owned coffee shop. But it was smooth, it was good, it wasn't too hype, it wasn't too soft, it was so perfect. And all the songs that you want to hear, I, ass I assure you. Customer service was amazing. It's gonna be real sweet. I can tell I ain't even looked okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it breakfast and lunch available? It's breakfast and lunch available. Okay. But you guys, the one that got me was the blend that they use for their espresso and espresso made drinks. It's called Say It Loud 
I'm black and I'm proud. I'm sorry. No, that's not what it's called. It's called Say It Loud, I'm Dark and I'm Proud. Y'all, when I saw this, I had to Google it and see what else they said on their website about this blend because what a name. It says, Say It Loud, Dark and Proud carries bold and rich flavor in its name. This dual espresso and dark roast blend of Indonesian and Latin American beans offers caramel and dark chocolate tasting notes that linger with every sip. It said, Fact, at a staff coffee tasting, owner Dorian Bolden asked what song or phrase came to mind for this song. Almost instantly, one of the managers called out said say it loud and you know the rest y'all and it did it it was it was delicious most of their drinks or their crafted uh lattes that they had super adorable i got the oprah is that the name of the one i got they're very much on the sweeter side but i get it and it was really good and i wanted something dramatic just to, just to taste and see what it was about see what their the drinks that they're known for if they're actually really good and they that delivered but because i am me i really needed to see what the espresso tastes like alone it is dark and it's proud and it's amazing waiting for this extra loud raggedy thing the air conditioning in this room is very loud and I'm honestly waiting for it to shut up so I can talk. Tell y'all what's been going on on this layover in Raleigh. Rolling room. Oh, there it goes. I went to BU Cafe. When I first read about this place, I thought it was Bayo. It's BU Cafe. It's located on West Main Street in Durham, North Carolina. And from my understanding, this is downtown Durham. Uh, I'm so confused by this Raleigh and Durham separation, but the same similar city closeness. I don't know what the heck's going on over here. Amazing. It was so, I don't want to say surprising, but surprisingly smooth. I just didn't expect it because... Outside of that, it was really friendly. It's very packed. I don't think the atmosphere is conducive to getting work done. So it's not like your typical cafe. It's not your typical, like an internet cafe. It's more of a restaurant. But getting into that part, I probably should have ordered items that were more popular. I got a breakfast burrito that was, it was okay. I won't say it was fantastic. It was just, it was just what it was. Um, and then I got some a side of, I think they called them house fries, but they were like uh, skillet potatoes, and they were okay. Uh, I would definitely go back for the coffee experience alone, and I would bring friends. So next time I'm back, I'm bringing the whole crew, because we got to try it. And this time I won't be recording. <laughs> anyway, moving on throughout the week. So I came back home, I had about a day off, a day, I had two days off, in between, in between, and then a friend of mine called me the next morning, which was Thursday, I think, yeah, Thursday morning, and told me that positions for a 17 hour layover in Puerto Rico had just popped in, and me and this friend we have a good time regardless so I couldn't wait I was like yeah girl I'm on it we picked that up shout out to Puerto Rico that night got in at about 10 p.m. Puerto Rico time we had a blast hey <laughs> okay and because it's such a short layover and everybody wants to um... mm. okay oh my gosh so I'm already running late, so let me go ahead and head downstairs, and I'll check in with y'all possibly whenever we get to whatever bar we're going to, and I'll see you later. Bye, y'all. We first went to a new bar, which is right around the corner from the hotel that we stay in. It's called George. Y'all, check out just just check out this decor. Beautiful. I'm sorry, baby. Oh no. <laughs> 
I'm the last one. Fungo? I've had it once. Did you like it? I don't remember. <laughs> I think I did, but I was I didn't like that the sauce wasn't spicy. Because okay. I like spicy food. Okay. You're cold? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Girl, you're not the one that eats. Oh you're my god! You're the one that has the mocktail. You drunk? You drunk? Oh my god, that was so funny! Yeah. Why can't y'all come? Oh, they have cigars. You okay. are an Aquarius. You're picky. I am very. Are you, very are much you okay are. with the dumplings? I'll eat the duck. Okay, all right. I'll I think try. I'm gonna get two. I need to figure out how we order. I think go. I'm gonna get the salmon roll and the calamari fries. <laughs> Finished my food while I was uh, letting you watch that little snippet. That little restaurant, bar, hookah lounge, tapas plate place, amazing. Y'all, we had such a great time. We chose to sit outside because the breeze was super nice. The water is right there off of like the balcony sit, or not balcony, off of the patio seated area. And we had an amazing time loved everything I had now mind you that was at 10 p.m. when we got there I don't think we left till about 1 in the morning I'm sorry then we went to bed but we had committed ourselves to go to this coffee shop in the morning called Bistro Cafe because duh and yeah um let's just say everybody was tired we were all tired nobody really slept so me and my friend Kelly, we got up at about 7 in the morning and met downstairs at 8 to go to Bistro Cafe. Now y'all, this is the highlight for me. I freaking adored the Bistro Cafe. Understanding, they also have a location in Miami. Sorry, right, my phone's going off. They have a location in Miami, which makes sense. And then they have another location. They have a so they have the Miami location and the Puerto Rico location. The food was cool. But y'all, I ordered a caramel latte. And when I saw that they put all these festive things on their coffees, I said, "Please, sir, Joe." Whenever you make mine, can it include the drama? Please let it include the drama. <clears throat> I don't want just a regular caramel latte. He was like, I got you, girl. Hey, baby. Thank you. It's not a chicken. It is a chicken. Not a chicken. Don't steer it until I get to see the chicken. Not a chicken. <laughs> 
They do the crunchies, they do Oreo on the side, they do, I think I had toffee. So I had toffee, they also do Oreo on the side, on the rim of your coffee mug, they do freaking glitter. I'm not usually here for all the hype, but I do like dramatics and a good time, and that delivered dramatics and a good time. The only part that was terribly sweet was the part on the outside, which was perfect. It's like whenever you get a drink and get the sugar on the rim, it just, it just helped it. After we left Bistro Cafe, we did a ton of walking. We took an Uber over to Old San Juan because I wanted to go to a more authentic uh, coffee shop afterwards. Never made it there. Um, once I got to Old San Juan, my friend and I became so infatuated with the buildings and the colors and the architecture and just the culture in itself. We got lost. We walked around. We hiked. We stared at water for long periods of time. And y'all, next thing we know, it was an hour before it was time for us to start getting ready so that we could return back to the airport. <laughs> Our flight getting back home was to work to Chicago and then we deadhead from Chicago down to Houston and that was the end of our trip. So the whole trip was work to Puerto Rico, layover for from Houston, we worked Houston to Puerto Rico, layover for 17 hours and then do Puerto Rico to Chicago, Chicago deadhead to Houston. So when I say deadhead that means I don't have to work. So when you see a flight attendant that look like she just got off work and she in a seat next to you, she's either deadheading or she's going home. In this case, I was doing both. But when I'm deadheading, I'm still getting paid. Um, it's just a part of my trip. I just don't have to work the trip. I just need to sit on the trip. <laughs> the whole trip, that was the whole, whole thing. What was that, five, five days? That was my work week. So that was my work week and we'll do this again on another time when I feel like I have more interesting things to say but I really wanted to wrap up some of this and highlight BU Cafe because it's Black History Month and I needed to throw in a black owned coffee shop. But you guys have a beautiful day. I'll send some of my sunshine your way because it's so pretty here in Houston right now at this moment our weather is usually on its period for lack of a better word and today and actually the past few days it's been it's been nice 
it's been nice like Callie's nice but this has been nice because right now Callie's got a cold front oh it's not that I'm laughing I just really miss living in California and the fact that they're experiencing that right now is I'm, I'm, I'm happy I am happy that I am here and not there but anywho you guys have a beautiful day Bye.